Hey guys, in this video, um, I'm not going to disparage Top Step in any way because they're not the ones clicking the button, guys. It's not Top Step that, that loses. It's me. Um, but I did want to give you my current kind of sober thoughts on trading Apex, Top Step, any of these funded account challenges. And, and Michael Huddleston kind of says the same thing. Guys, it, it really is kind of adding on a level of complexity and difficulty to trading that doesn't really have to be there. Um, you do have the micro NASDAQ available to you, um, and you can get very cheap brokerages like TradeStation or AMP Futures. Um, and if you're confident in your ability to trade, is it worth doing these challenges? Maybe. I I don't know. I it so here's the benefit here let me give you the benefits that I see and as well as the drawbacks. So number one, if you are brand new to trading, as in you've never traded before, you've not gone through the process, you haven't done any studying, you're like brand new. I be honest with you, I wouldn't trade at all. I would just study for a long time and then, like kind of what Michael says. Uh, it's a very good way to get in a lot of practice relatively cheap. Okay? So, there is that. But, let me talk about some of the drawbacks now. And so, number one, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this, guys. On my TradeStation account, I have one quarter commissions on a micro NASDAQ. I think it's 50 cents round turn. Guys, that's like nothing. I mean, my commissions on TradeStation are virtually nothing. So the commissions are better on TradeStation than they, than they are on TradeAvate. Number two, this spread that you see right here, that one tick spread on, on TradeStation, and sometimes it goes up to two ticks, you will see the top step trader through trade of eight spread sometimes get up to three ticks four ticks five ticks on the on the nasdaq and if i'm here on trade station look two ticks and sometimes it'll be one tick most of the time it'll be one tick sometimes two ticks so your trade station spreads are better your commissions are better um and then guys i need to get to the obvious point the obvious point is I can wire the damn money out the same day. If I make $300, pay myself the same day. Like, I mean, isn't that kind of obvious? I cannot, I don't have $150,000. Um, but I have enough money at this point to trade a micro NASDAQ. And if I make $50, if I make $100, I can just withdraw so I can't do that on top step I can't I have to win five days of two hundred dollars which puts that kind of added level of complexity you've got a daily loss limit even though it's pretty high it's always in the back of your head and then guys you get slippage on trade of eight you do you just get slippage uh, and on trade station you have no slippage like virtually none so and, and guys, not that I ever really am intending on holding positions past the close, but you can do that. They're not going to automatically close you out on your own damn cash on TradeStation. Um, they're not going to close you out of your account or close out your position if you hold it too long. Uh, I mean, that goes without saying. You can pull the money out the same day. It's your money. You can, pull the, you can wire the money out the same day. You can wire it the minute that you make it. You can make a trade and be like, I'm done. Give me my fucking paycheck. Let's go. So that's one thing. Number two, the spread is better. Number three, the commissions are way better on TradeStation than they are on Trade of Eight. It's not even close. Um, I have 25 cent commissions on TradingView, on TradeStation through, tra through TradingView. I have 25 cent commissions on Micro NASDAQ. The spread is better. Like you see one tick spread, you won't see that on Trade of Eight. Trade of Eight, it's always going to be two, three, four ticks. I'm not going to get slippage, basically, any slippage, hardly at all, on, on TradeStation. So, 
and this is not like guys I can wire the money out the same day because my money I can make a $50 trade and be like I want that 50 bucks right now $500 I want it now you know um, and I don't go have to go through some simulated phase in order to trade my own money I don't have to go through like a combine nothing just pay me so if you are a good day trader or if you feel like hey I'm, I feel like I can do this now you know I know when I should be trading and when I should not be trading I know economic releases uh, risk management um, you know um, I don't know guys it's a good way to get in a lot of practice but there's a lot of advantages to just trading your own money so I'm going to leave it at that I'm not disparaging top step I'm, I'm not disparaging them at all I'm just telling you the facts you cannot wire out the money the same day the slippage is worse the spread is worse the commissions are worse you have to go through a simulated you have to pay a fee to go through a combine and then start where you can make money but at the same token yeah it's pretty cheap and you can and you can get in a lot of trading practice on the cheap so that's a good thing about it so but guys I think when you get to that point where you're like you know what I'm kinda ready to do this professionally I you know I get it you gotta trade really small you gotta use risk management you can't trade economic releases you don't trade the New York Open you know don't don't trade don't trade when the market's not moving uh, all these things guys like once you get there and you're kind of like I know what I should be doing there's no doubt in my mind like living a healthy lifestyle uh, you know not drinking when you're trading not trading on your phone not trading when you have a bad internet connection all those kind of simple stuff as well you know you kind of get to the point where you're like why am I doing this for someone else and why am I not able to wire out the money the exact same day and and this is coming from a guy who lost money today on his express funded account but I know exactly why I lost money today it's because I put on too much size uh, and with my own cash you better damn believe I'm not putting on too much size it's my own cash uh, I'm not putting on more than one freaking micro until I get to 4.1k so you better believe it's my own damn cash I'm not putting on too much size there's not so I don't know I don't know guys uh, you gotta you gotta make the decision for yourself uh, I'm not saying I'm done trading top step by any means I'm not but I'm not trading on rhythmic I'm not trading on ninja I mean listen to me top step if you can hear me I'm not doing it I'm just not I will go get a job uh, I will make money and then I will trade my own trade station account I don't want to get a job I don't want to go do that but if I have to I will um, I'm not trading on rhythmic I'm not trading on ninja this is exactly where I want to trade and I'm just not using another platform it's not happening you will lose a customer I'm sorry um, so it is what it is guys top step is a great company if you are going to use a funded challenge company I would recommend top step way over the other ones but if you are getting kind of to the point where you're like you know what I kind of do know what I'm doing maybe just trade your own get you know trade your own trade station your own Oanda your own amp futures like your own think or swim I like trade station guys it's a great brokerage uh, very low commissions so ultra low commissions anyways um, just my opinion, just my two thoughts on it. Bye-bye.